I'm going to tell you about a fantastic week that our solar panels and Tesla Powerwall 2 have had during the past seven days. It really has been a remarkable week for February in winter time. So let's get to it. Hi, John Tisbury here. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about the Tesla Powerwall 2 and a solar installation, also hints on photography and cinema photography, start now by subscribing to the channel and by clicking the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new content as it gets uploaded. To give you some top line figures about why I made this video, for the last seven days we've basically had a total self power of 88%. That's basically us generating enough electricity for 88% of our needs over the last seven days. We've also found that the Tesla Powerwall 2 has managed to achieve 100% charge five times during that week. Uh, five times 13.5 kilowatts, which is what the Tesla holds, w works out at, um, I've got it written down, 67.5 kilowatt hours. So that just sort of sets the, the scene for you in terms of the, the two top numbers. For those who are not familiar with our setup here, uh, we're based in the UK in the East Midlands. We have a four kilowatt solar array and that's teamed up to a Sunny Boy inverter, which is a 3.8 kilowatt inverter. And we have a Tesla Powerwall 2. So I'm going to take you through our solar panel and Tesla Powerwall performance um, over the last seven days. And the time frame I'm looking at, I'm going to be um, working on, is from Friday the 22nd of February through to Thursday the 28th of February uh, 2019. And that's inclusive of those um, days. And I've pulled some charts together just to sort of make it a little bit more interesting and, and easier for you to absorb the data rather than me um, blurting out loads of stats and loads of figures um, to you. Um, so let's bring this first chart up. This chart is our total home usage and solar generation in kilowatt hours over those seven days. So you can see there are three days where our solar generation was actually more than our home usage. If I scroll down to the next chart, and this shows the split between the solar generation and the Tesla Powerwall performance. You've got three columns there. So the first one is solar, the second one is Tesla Powerwall, and then the third one, the green colored one, shows the total percentage of self power. That the total solar contribution into the total 88% was 42%. So basically solar contributed 42% of the total 88%, if that makes sense. And then the other contribution was from the power wall, which contributed 46%. Um, so actually the power wall contributed more than the, the solar. We powered the power wall from the solar. We didn't pull any um, sort of cheap rate electricity to top up the, the Tesla power wall. Um, or pull from the, the grid to top up the power. It's purely working on um, self-powered mode at the moment within the app. During that same week, we also managed to get 100% full charge on the Tesla Powerwall 2 five times, which is actually quite incredible. And that's really helped with our self-sufficiency over that week of 88% in total. So yeah, there you go. Um, it's a quick video, short video, but I thought it was well worth putting up just to give you an idea on the performance in a sort of segment in time, as it were. Um, if you have a solar installation, I would really be interested to know how yours has performed over those seven days. Uh, if you were based in the UK, because you would have had similar weather patterns to, to us, hopefully. So yeah, drop some comments down below um, on your performance. Uh, interested to read what other people are doing and, and receiving in terms of their generation. If you found this useful then please consider subscribing, give a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down um, in, in terms of what you thought and then click that subscribe button down in the bottom corner there and the notification bell so you get notified of new content when it's uploaded. I generally upload a weekly 
And uh, yeah, so that's it for now. See you soon. Uh, see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.